Greetings, my friends. Did a video on death in the afterlife yesterday. Very important video, very urgent and with today with all the depth going on and we need to know what's going on. And, and it's really good for unsaved loved ones or, or people who don't, who don't know Jesus or people who are confused. It, it's a great video to share. It, it got very little action. Uh, most people ignored it. I know people don't like talking about death or thinking about it. I don't know why Christians would avoid that. Death for Christians is is to be in eternity with Jesus Christ. And I'm going to link that video up below this video title again and give you another chance to be able to watch it and be able to share it. It's very urgent to get this stuff out. The Lord gives me things to put out for a reason. And all I can do is put them out. I can't make anybody watch anything, but I, I highly recommend everyone find the video right below the title of this video on death in the afterlife. And please watch it. Please share it and get the word out. It's very, very urgent. Now for today's video. Jeff Bezos just gave Barack Obama's foundation $100 million. And the first reason he gave it to him, he said, was um, in honor of a congressman that died. And I can understand that part. And that's what I saw. And I thought, I, I waited for the other, other shoe to drop. Because when it because when it comes to Jeff Bezos and Barack Obama, those two guys have been have been tight since the very beginning. I've told you all, once from the very first day he took office in his first presidency, that th those two they, they were just, I'll talk about it more later, but they were best buds. And I told you that him and, um, and, and, and the head of Facebook was the same way, and now they're both involved in the metaverse. And I told you that, that he and, um, and the guy that runs, um, that runs Tesla are tight, and they are tight. They have things going on. He's had things going on with Bill Gates, who runs Microsoft. I told you from the beginning that these guys were all tight. And if they were all part of a of a system that would they would all be involved in the end times, those four guys in Obama, and I've been proven right, not because I'm anything, I get my leading and guidance from the Holy Spirit. So today, the Obama Foundation announced that Jeff Bezos is giving them $100 million, the largest individual contribution ever to date, <clears throat> in honor of civil rights icon, Congressman John Lewis. I understand that. But here's where the shoe drops. This is the reason why. It's an honor of him. This is why it's being used, though, to help reach emerging leaders around the world. Emerging leaders around the world. Hmm. First of all, I've said since Obama's first days in office, when I saw him and Bezos together, saw them smiling ear to ear and saying they were on the same page with huge global goals and interests, that Bezos would be key to Obama and the whole Antichrist, Antichrist system, Mark of the Beast system, everything in the, in the last days. And I'm convinced that I'm right. So why would Obama want to have $100 million to use to reach emerging leaders around the world? Let's look at this for a minute. During the tribulation, we're going to have 10 leaders emerge, the 10 kings of Revelation. Hmm, $100 million to help reach emerging leaders around the world. Hmm. You see where I'm getting at here? Every time I see Barack Obama's name, and I see it tied in with one of these big wheels, and I see it tying in with verbiage that points right to the end times, to the tribulation and the great tribulation, it makes me go, hmm. And I'm not surprised about this at all. This, I believe, is just another example, like I've given you endless examples of. See, when a, when a president <clears throat> leaves the White House, he becomes an average Joe. He goes and goes off and starts painting, or he goes off and into the distance and just chills out and, and, and maybe sits out in, 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 uh, in a lake somewhere. Obama's been more popular than ever each and every year since the man's been retired. And he stays very, very, very active and involved in key end times. things like the metaverse, like reaching emerging leaders around the world in these last days, like all the things he has with Bill Gates getting computers to everybody around the entire world deeply involved in that. Why would he want to get computers everybody around the entire world? Won't the beast system be tied up with computers so everyone rich and poor will, will receive this mark or reject it? It's vital to understand where we're living at. It's vital to understand key players that are emerging. No one's going to know the true, I mean, the, I mean the, the, the world's not going to know in general the true identity of the Antichrist and the false prophet. They aren't going to know until after the, the, the rapture of the bride of Christ. But those of us who have wisdom and understanding, Revelation says we can know the identity of the Antichrist if we see him. I'm convinced I know who he is. I'm convinced that this this whole video is just another example pointing to the direction that I've been telling you guys about for the past 
13, 14 years. I'm just convinced of it. And I won't be here when the Antichrist takes over. Thank God for that. I'll be in heaven. I'll be raptured or dead first, but I'll be in heaven regardless. But those who are left behind are going to find the real face, like, like the face behind the face. The, the, the mask, the face of the theater that gets pulled off and there's a face behind it, they'll see the real face of the Antichrist and they will regret ever having to deal with him when he turns from a smiling, uh, fun fun guy to the most hellish nightmare on earth. If you've never been saved, you're backslidden. Pray the prayer. Do the six steps, seven in the box, put a video, and no one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you like prayer, contact me. I pray for you every day. I love you all dearly and look up to your Christians. Our different draw now you fly soon. May God bless you. Again, make sure you watch and share that video on death in the afterlife. It's very important to get the word out and wake up and understand what's going on right in front of our faces. I love you. May God bless you. Take care and share. We fly soon, my friends. Bye.